Bianca Belair has become SmackDown Women's Champion in what I can call the greatest female women's WrestleMania match ever. 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 We're going to talk about it in just a second, so stay tuned. This is your WrestleMania Night 1 review. What's up, Maniacs? My name is Mex. I'm a wrestling fan, a wrestling enthusiast, a WrestleManiac, if you will. And today we are discussing night one, WrestleMania. Man, it's literally just a matter of hours ago. I I, I, I um, went to sleep after watching it. Um, so, yeah, forgive me. I may not be so sharp this morning, but incredible show. Brilliant to have the fans back. Um it's such a, it's just a really, really good stuff. And the main event, man, uh, we're going to get into it. We are going to get into it. Um, I'm going to try and just talk about the matches generally, not kind of talk about beat for beat, talk about the result and stuff like that. Um, Cause I know I'm not going to be at my sharpest, <laughs> but um, yeah, great stuff that we saw. Great stuff that we saw on the night. So yeah, might as well get into it. Um, in case you didn't know, right here at WrestleMania UK, I discuss all things WWE and AEW. So if this is the place for you, remember to hit the subscribe button. Remember to hit the notification bell as well so you get notified each and every time I drop a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into it. WrestleMania Night 1 Review. So the show... Well, the show opened up with rain. <laughs> I've got to say the show opened up with the first match, but the, the show was delayed for about 45 minutes because of rain. Um, and this was after Vince McMahon had come out and given a rah-rah speech. This is after we got America the Beautiful performed. Their match wasn't, um, they weren't ready to start because of the rain. So we had a lot of kind of backstage interviews selling us on, you know, the matches coming up on this night, on night two and stuff like that. Um and it was good. It was it was good. You know, this is improvisation at its best. They just did what they could to keep the, the, the crowd intrigued and stuff like that. Um, but when it did start, and it still started with the WWE Championship, Bobby Lashley, the champion, defending against Drew McIntyre. And, you know, this was a very, very hard hitting match. It wasn't quite to the level of what we've been seeing between Drew McIntyre and Sheamus, but they done their thing in their own right. And... One thing I don't think anybody in this world saw was Bobby Lashley retained the WWE Championship. Massive, oh my God, moment. And like, honestly, no, I don't know who saw this coming, if anyone did. Any prediction show or anything I was on, I think I, a couple people did say Bobby Lashley, but it was more out of, I like Bobby Lashley. I support this guy. I don't want to see Drew as champion again. It wasn't that they were confident that Bobby Lashley was actually going to win here. And he did. The hurt lock putting Drew McIntyre to sleep. Yeah, man. You know, we've seen people tap out frantically to it. I think Shelton Benjamin on last week's Raw, or two weeks ago on Raw, he kind of passed out to it. Um, Drew McIntyre passed out, out on the canvas. No one saw this. Like, like honestly, Bobby Lashley, you know... We've, I've been saying strike whilst the iron is hot. You know, we didn't understand the breakup of the of the hurt business. They're backing him. They are backing him. And you love to see it. Drew McIntyre, you know, this guy has been phenomenal in the last 18 months. Absolutely phenomenal. You know, I thought he was about to become a three-time WWE champion in 12 months, which would be a complete, you know, new accolade to itself. But Bobby Lashley pulled it out of the bag and I'm really happy because although this is a result everyone wanted as well, deep down people wanted this, um, people do like Drew and now where do we go? You know, we've got the possibilities of Strowman uh, maybe Sheamus, obviously he might come around to Drew again, Randy Orton but the one we all want to see is Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar WWE, give us what we want Bobby Lashley deserves this moment now. You know, you, you've built him up to this. He's went on to the grandest stage of the all, WrestleMania. He's defeated someone that you guys have built up so well over the last 12 to 18 months. Brock Lesnar has to be the SummerSlam match. It has to be. 
like I said, we've got probably Drew, Sheamus, Randy Orton, maybe Keith Lee, maybe some others in the interim before we get to SummerSlam, maybe as well the, the, the Money in the Bank briefcase holder. But when it comes to SummerSlam, which is, you know, the second biggest night on the wrestling calendar, if you like, um, after WrestleMania in terms of shows, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is what we need for Bobby Lashley. We need to see it. Um, and yeah, that that is, that is, it's a phenomenal, it's a phenomenal result in a really, really good match to start the show. So important to have fans um, back. You could see how intrigued the fans were with how this was going to go. And big up for Drew McIntyre's performance as well. We saw him pulling out Kimura locks. We saw a senton over the top rope, like um, fantastic, fantastic stuff. Um, what a way to, to start the show, like I said. Um, but we'll move on. Um, next up on the show, we had the women's tag team um, turmoil match. Um, this match was a bit scrappy, just the way things happened. You know, it's um, I think it's just a bit hard to be invested in maybe a turmoil match, a gauntlet match of, you know, it's, it's just a bit difficult because of how things are. They didn't really give it a lot of time. So it was kind of rush, rush, do your spots, um, get pinned, move out the ring. Next people come in. Um, it started with Carmella and Billy Kay and Naomi and Lana. Naomi and Lana was my picks to, to win tonight and then go on and actually win the championships. They got eliminated first, so I was I was out of that. Um, then Riot Squad came in. Riot Squad got rid of Carmella and um, Carmella and Billy Kay. Um, oh, my head's gone blank. I can't even remember who the other team is. But oh, Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke. And then Mandy Rose slipped on her entrance on the way down. So I think it was inevitable that, you know, we saw a couple of people slipping around the ringside area as well, because obviously there was rain. Um, so, yeah, slipping on the entrance, I guess that puts her into Titus World slide kind of category. But, um, yeah, they came out and they got eliminated. Um, I think we also saw a blooper with Dana Brooks ring gear with what? Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke were wearing it was like very kind of provocative kind of throwback to Attitude Era-esque kind of stuff um, but yeah they got eliminated and then Tamina and Natalia came out and and despite Riot Squad's really good run in this it was a good showing from Riot Squad that was the main thing to take from this we saw Tamina and Natalia win so they're going on tonight to to face Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler for the Women's Tag Championships. Um, <clears throat> I still want these, two, I want these two to go on and win it. I want to, I want Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax freed up to re-enter the, the women's, the main women's singles division on Raw. So um, Tamina and Natalia will be a, you know, a nice little um, champions in the meantime. I can, I can get behind that. Um, next up on the show, the next match was a match that I think everyone thought was going to really steal the show and they've done a fantastic job. Cesaro versus Seth Rollins. Um, this match was brilliant. Seth Rollins, like, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this, but his gimmick, again, I'm really trying to define it. And right now it's like a, a, a cocaine-taking fashionista. And I'm sorry if anyone gets kind of offended or anything like that, but he just seems so happy, so giddy, so so much full of life. Like he is, like he's on something. Let me just say he's on something fashionista. Like he's so good. And Cesaro, this moment, you can see what this moment meant to him from the beginning of the match. Um, he looked great as well. Um, the different kinds of feats of um, athleticism that was being shown in this match. Of course, we got the swings and all of that kind of stuff. Rollins putting on his his annual WrestleMania performance where he's pulling stuff out of the bag that we never see him do um, like on Raw or anything like that or on SmackDown. We saw like a spinning um, tope and stuff like that, a corkscrew tope. Um, moves that, you know, a one indie superstar has been saying that he's copying a lot of their, his stuff. But um, this match was absolutely fantastic. We saw... Cesaro spin Rollins I think I can't remember how many times specifically I think it was 23 or 24 times which is like one more time than he what he did on Smackdown um to Rollins so um yeah then he got put in the gotch neutralizer and Cesaro gets the big Wrestlemania win like finally this man is being recognized on a massive stage in a massive match Rollins and him put on a great performance he has to kick on now. I mean, for me, it's, it'll be very safe 
a safe move for him him to go into like the the intercontinental championship um division if you like um win the mid card title he's he's never been intercontinental champion so that would be very good a very easy place for him to slot into at the same time you know they they they're keeping him very hot whoever comes out as universal champion tonight on the show maybe you know Cesaro is given that kind of first opportunity at them you know money in the bank backlash those kind of pay-per-views um that could be very interesting but um yeah just happy that these guys got this opportunity to put on this great match it's, it was really 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 impressive next up on the show it was the raw tag team championship match new day versus aj styles and almost <clears throat> new day coming in as champions and this match was all hinging on one thing almost his debut almost getting the tag into the ring it almost looked like he wanted to start the match xavier woods called out um aj stars aj stars got into the ring and aj stars was in this match for a very very long period very long period <laughs> just um taking abuse taking a beating from kofi and from um xavier woods like he has been in recent weeks in fact and there was one point where Xavier Woods was up on the, the top rope. Let me just say, yeah, New Day were working very heel in this match. Like, they were like the heels, if anything. Um, and it made me think that, God, that like, New Day, before they became as popular as they became, they were fantastic heels. They were really, really, really good heels. And I wouldn't mind seeing another heel run from, from New Day. Um, but yeah, Xavier Woods, got after cutting off AJ for making this tag for so long, Xavier Woods was up on the top rope, AJ was on the canvas, and it's like he realised that, hold on, no one's holding me back, no one's in my way to make this tag. And he went over and made the tag to Omos, and he looked incredible. He really looked incredible. You know, typical big man kind of work, stance, very slow, methodical, but New Day were the best people to kind of sell his offence, um, sell that he's a big, big threat. Um he was very good. Spine busters, kind of choke slam kind of moves, um, back breakers and stuff like that. He looked very, very solid in what he'd done, very clean with you know everything he'd done, his offense. We saw a phenomenal forearm off his off from AJ Styles off of Omos's shoulders, which is pretty cool. I can't remember what he did to finish, but for the actual pin, he literally just put his boot over Kofi Kingston, I believe it was his chest and um, got the three count and it's literally as a three count happened he was just raising his arms in glory like it was really really good a great visual almost and AJ Styles become the raw tag team champions I guess we all expected this um but yeah it was all hinging on the 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 one thing of almost once he gets into that that ring um how was this gonna go and um it was really good very very entertaining Right, next up, we had a cage match. But before we get to it, guys, please make sure you have hit the like button. I appreciate it every time you guys hit the like button. It pumps out this video to more people so more people can see the work we're doing right here at WrestleMania UK. So one more time, if you haven't already, smash the like button. Give it a WrestleMania like, a WrestleMania smash if you like. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for that. We had the cage match. Braun Strowman versus Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon got into the the ring first, into the cage first. As Braun Strowman was getting in, we saw him get attacked outside by Elias um, and Jackson Riker. Um, especially, he got hit on his leg with a steel chair. This is what he was basically selling throughout throughout the match. Um, despite kind of still dominating with Shane, he couldn't get off certain moves because he was selling this leg injury and stuff like that. And you know, very much like the match before was hinged on when are we going to see Omos in the ring when he gets that tagged. This match was hinged on. What is Shane going to jump off? What is Shane going to fall off? Um, obviously, the cage was the, the what they had. So you assumed that, that was that's what it was going to be. Um, what was he going to fall off? What was he going to jump off? Um, and as the match went on, Shane was pretty much in the ascendancy. We even saw Elias and Jackson Riker try and pull Shane out the cage fr from Shane going over the top at one point. But um, Braun Strowman ran up against the cage and knocked those two clowns down. Um, Shane McMahon all but had this match won and he was climbing around on the outside. Stuck his hand back into the cage through one of the chain links to like, I don't know, wave at Braun goodbye or something. Braun climbed up the cage and ripped the side of the cage off, which I thought was a really, really fun spot. 
um, ripped the side of the cage off, you know, kind of still letting us know this guy's got this monster element in him. Um, pulled himself up through the inside of the ring so he was standing on top of the cage right in that corner and um, Shane McMahon as well and he threw Shane McMahon off the top of the cage into the ring into like a he, Shane McMahon kind of done like a forward flip kind of motion um, landed not like a flat back bump but landed like right on the back of his shoulder blades so the rotation was pretty slow because for him to land on his shoulder blades he wasn't far from landing on the back of his head um but he was okay. Braun climbed down, gave him the power slam, running power slam, and pinned Shane McMahon. So Braun's kind of rid himself of Shane McMahon. We probably won't see Shane McMahon on Monday Night Raw unless he's taken up some type of GM role. But um, just a bit of a fun match, interim match. It, you know, nothing special. Probably um, if I'm, you know, next to maybe the women's turmoil match, the week, one of the weaker matches on the card, but it was all about what is Shane going to fall or jump off. So, um, yeah, that was, that was it really. Next up on the show, we had what was a really fun match between the Miz and Morrison, Damian Priest and Bad Bunny, Damian Priest and Bad Bunny making, both making their WrestleMania debuts. And let me just say from the jump, you know, i got to respect Bad Bunny, man. I really got to respect Bad Bunny for the work he's put in, clearly put in since January or whatever the case is, caring for putting on an actual performance at WrestleMania, doing the training, everything like that. It's not easy. And, you know, he's put on a really fun match here. For me, this is up there with the the Pat McAfee's um, in terms of celebrity performances. This is up there with, if you want to call Ronda Rousey a celebrity performance, this is up there with that. Um, Ronda Rousey is still my favourite. That WrestleMania match where she tagged with Kurt Angle was just a phenomenal match. Um, so that's still one of the top, top ones for me. But this was really, really good. Bad Bunny was in the match for the majority. Morrison and Miz were in here making tags and everything. Damien Priest wasn't active like that in this match. I think Damien Priest was in this match for a total of four minutes. Um, Bad Bunny really brought it. Um, we saw like we saw like stereo Falcon arrows and stuff like that. We even saw, yeah, um, we saw the splash, of course. We saw the splash that he done at Royal Rumble to Miz and Morrison. But all in all, the wow factor of this match. Bad Bunny done a Canadian destroyer on the outside to John Morrison. My jaw was on the ground. I could not believe it. What? <laughs> you don't even really allow people to do this move and you let Bad Bunny do it. And, you know, some may say it was all Morrison. Morrison, you know, may, may have carried him or maneuvered the move for him, but fantastic. Great spot. Great spot. Um, and of course, as you know, a lot would have guessed, the celebrities rarely will lose at WrestleMania. Bad Bunny and Damian Priest got the win. So very interesting to see how much more of Bad Bunny we see on WWE programming after tonight. Damian Priest now has to take this kind of rub, um, this kind of high profile that he's got from this. And, um, excuse me, and really kind of kick on and we'll see, you know, what happens with him from there. But um, absolutely great match. Great match. Celebrity, great celebrity matches. It's, you don't see them often, trust me. So, um, but the level of celebrities coming in and really trying and putting on a good show is improving. We have to say that it is definitely improving. So yeah. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, let us talk about it. Sasha Banks versus Bianca Belair for the SmackDown Women's Championship. <sighs> what a match. What a match. Sasha Banks came in looking like a complete champion, but yet looking like a, a villain, the bad guy with the mixed color hair and everything, the new attire. Both of these women, as the match started, you know, there was chance EST, boss, EST, boss. You could see the emotion in these women. Like they, they both looked like they were fighting back tears, if not crying. Um, absolutely incredible. And then once it started, boy, it started. I was watching this match from like just a pure kind of, gym and fitness point of view at times and Bianca Belair is incredible in terms of her fitness in terms of her conditioning in terms of her um strength I mean the spot where she carried um Sasha Banks over her head 
walked back into the ring via the steps and threw Sasha Banks down. And yes, Sasha Banks isn't the, the biggest of people, but are you kidding me? <laughs> like, you, we cannot take anything from her. She is a top-level performer from a sports and fitness point of view alone. Alone. I, it's, it's clear to see why she has all those records in NXT. It's clear to see how she had a career in um, CrossFit and athleticism before this. It's clear to see it now. It's abundantly clear. Um you know, from a wrestling point of view, you know, that's where Sasha Banks really shines, but not to take anything away from Bianca Belair, she done her thing too. Um, Sasha Banks, I feel, had a strong hand in putting together this match because a lot of stuff that we see from Sasha Banks was was resonating in this match as well. Um, and it was just a fantastic match. For, for a card where we thought, you know, the likes of Rollins and um, Cesaro would steal the show, this may have been on par, if not better. And maybe better because of the emotion involved. We knew something was at stake, and that obviously adds a lot to a match as well. Um, we saw a 450 attempt by Bianca Belair where Sasha Banks got her knees up. We saw a 450 attempt that she pulled off. Um, one of the biggest oh my god moments in this match was Sasha Banks pulling at Bianca Belair's ponytail. Bianca Belair finally getting herself out of the pool and whipping Sasha Banks that you could actually hear the. To, to, to hit Sasha Banks. If you guys see online the mark that he's left Sasha Banks with, crazy, crazy stuff. She hit Sasha Banks with the KOD and Bianca Belair became the SmackDown Women's Champion. It is absolutely phenomenal to, phenomenal to see, man. It is absolutely phenomenal. You know, Bianca Belair is one of the hottest things in wrestling right now. So is Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks, you know, videos circulating online of Sasha Banks outside selling the injuries while Bianca Belair is in the ring celebrating, but she's smiling. She, she knows what she's done here. She's created a star. She's legitimized the star. Um, she's put on a phenomenal match. She has put on, along with Bianca Belair, the best women's match on WrestleMania ever. Ever. You lot can clip this and try and make a fool of me for saying this, but there is no better women's WrestleMania match in history than this one. Unless we're going to get one tonight. Unless we're going to get one tonight. But as history stands right now, this is the best women's match on WrestleMania ever. Ever. It, it was fantastic. It was phenomenal. This is this is why we knew they deserved the main event. We didn't need to see, um, you know, when it's all said and done, yes, the feud going into this wasn't great. But it's all about moments. And when you create a moment like you did, last night in terms of their match no one's going to remember what happened before it there's nothing to remember anyway but <laughs> no one's going to remember um this is the greatest women's match at wrestlemania ever honestly 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 speaking um i love it's like bianca belair is very kind of um is she's so cute with it because like you can see and I've, a lot of stuff that i've seen after this match as well in terms of footage and stuff she doesn't know how to hold the belt. She's not comfortable with the belt as of yet. Obviously, she's got the next week or so before SmackDown comes to get used to holding the championship. Remember, she never won a championship in NXT. Um, she's not comfortable with it yet. She's holding it upside down. She's doing all kinds of stuff with it. She's hugging it. Like, but it's it's cute. It shows that, you know, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't, and we know this isn't someone that grew up watching wrestling. She came into this because she was good at it. She was she was physically good for this. Like, just absolutely incredible. And Sasha Banks is, you know, again, I said it sometime last year and I got scrutinized for it in one of my videos. Sasha Banks is on my Mount Rushmore of black wrestlers. Um, I stand by it. And I hope maybe people can see that now. She After the year she's had as well, these two women are incredible. Um, they've put on an incredible match. They've created an incredible moment. Um, I'm just so proud for them. Like, my heart is as full as them. Like, like honestly, and I didn't do nothing. What I did was watch this match. But, yeah, guys, um, brilliant, brilliant match, man. Um, you know, we'll leave it there. We still got a whole night two to watch. But night one was so good. I'm content. I don't even need a night two right now. Right now, I'm I'm good. This was a really good show. Great to have fans back. Great performances by by most of everyone that was involved. Um, 
new SmackDown Women's Champion, Bianca Belair, you know, the EST of WWE has arrived. So going to be really interesting to see the fallout on SmackDown come Friday. But guys, for now, that is it. That is all. We will watch uh, WrestleMania Night 2 tonight and I'll be back on Monday with a, another review for that. So um, thank you. Thank you for joining me. I hope you all enjoyed the show. I'm, I'm getting in my feels again about the main event. <laughs> so let me just let me just leave you guys here. Um, like I say, please remember to like the video on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time I drop a new video. WrestleManiac UK signing out and I'll see you.